back. Sweetie, stay in there, sweetie. Sweetie, stay in there, sweetie. Oh, Lord. So we're out at the farm of the lady that called us about this sweet girl. Lester has, of course, made friends with her. And she, um, she doesn't appear skinny, but she's skinny. And she hasn't been groomed or anything in a while, so she's still got all of her undercoat, and it's very hot in Texas this week. Did you need your leash? Oh, put your hat on and hold on to what you got, cause which one matches better? Oh my God! Please. People are on my ass about You're my. You're driving. Hold the wheel. People are on my ass about my hats not matching my shirts. I don't know what to do anymore. I used to not care, but I realized I care more than I thought I didn't. Anyway, we were headed from Longhorn Lester, so I'm a survivor, and Lester's phone rings, and he goes, that's a local number, and answers it, and a very nice lady says she's 75 years old, and a dog showed up on her property who basically moved in their pasture, and she doesn't know anything about it other than it looks like a great Pyrenees, and she went to put a collar and a leash on it, and it pulled her to the ground. And it yanked her and jerked her the road. And I'm like, she's like, I'm 75. I'm like, ma'am, yeah. you let go. Just yeah. let go. And she goes, well, I finally did. Anyways. So Lester and I are going to stop by and take a look at this dog and kind of go from there. Uh, it's still June, for the record. So we've already, like, exceeded all of the oh, whole summer everyone, already. Everyone needs to stop on our count. Everyone needs to stop all that. We've gone far and above all of that. This what? is just a dog that a lady can't take care of. And we feel bad because it's not hers in the first place that she tried to and it's it's it hurt her. Not attacked her but it hurt her trying to care for it. So we at least want to go see if, if the dog can even be handled and if it's something that, that we can handle. Um, and well you're coming along. So it's just like you got the phone call and you're just, you're joining us. That's how this is gonna go. And Lester, thank God, found out the right hat to wear with the right shirt, all right in front of your very eyes. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. Well, what a beautiful baby. So you were able to get the collar and leash on her. And then she gave you a good drag, huh? Yeah, she So she's very matted up around her. Look at yeah, all that's the hard part. Poor baby. She's used to being in the pasture with animals. So she's Aww. very skinny too. You can feel the bones well, in her. her but, uh, Poor like, sweetie. Hi, right, sweet girl. Sweet love. Well. Well, we would love to take her and help her out if you would let us do that. We'll find her. Oh my goodness, you didn't have to do that. Don't pull me around, okay? <laughs> Don't pull me around. We did not she bring my strolled truck. Up. She strolled up with a leash on her, the poor leash that the the dragging happened with. You want to come too, huh? Is that your new friend? Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, come I on love you. Nope. You're a handsome boy. This going to be something, Lester. Uh, I know. I know. I want to love you and hang out with you. But Lester is going to have to pick this baby up. You, you think it's a girl? Your, your, oh, yes, a girl. Just open the back of your truck. Okay. Come but, on, uh, sweetie. The, you guys ready to call her? Boy, this is going to be something. Good girl. That's a good girl. Come on. That's a good girl. Look at her. Come on. Oh, she's going to be heavy. Lord, my God. <laughs> okay. Leave the collar on her for now. Yeah. And the leash. Yes. Did you need your leash back? No. Sweetie, stay in there, sweetie. Sweetie, stay in there, sweetie. Oh, Lord. Hi, sweet girl. You look a lot like Millie. Did you notice? 
She has Millie's a face. Lot like Millie. Yes. So oh, she's Fiona, so terrified right now. Yeah, Fiona is more, she shows more of the great St. Bernard. Yes. Millie yes. shows more of the great Pyrenees. Okay, she's pretty skittish back she's here. Pretty skittish. It's okay, baby. So it's she, okay. She never bit at me, but she did not no, want to but, be pulled along by yeah. that collar either. Well, she went with me, and I think that she has definitely has a woman connection. Which, which of our rescues has not been terrified of me? That's true. That's true. Uh, Stella is the only one. Stella, the only one. Yeah. I guess Charlie. A little bit. Watch out for that dumpster right That's there. It. All right, sweet girl. Let's take you home. Get you all in shape. I was talking about her little coat here. It's definitely thick. She hasn't been groomed. Nobody's been brushing her. So she she's extra hot. Yeah, so she, it's okay, beautiful. It's kind of neat that she was in the pasture with the animals, taking care of them. That's where she wanted to be. Yeah. That's the nature of them. Oh boy, I better put my seatbelt on. So small plot twist. Uh, our original destination was, of course, I'm a survivor with a stop at Tractor Supply. And now we got a hitchhiker with us. And uh, Lester just offered to stay in the car with her. So I just want to know do you have any last will and testament in case she eats your face off while I'm in She's Tractor sweet. Supply? She's not gonna me. I'm just teasing. She is very sweet. She's very nervous. This is clearly her first car ride ever. Um, and it's sad because you can't see how skinny and emaciated that she is yep. because of her fur because she hasn't been groomed. Oh, she's skin and bone. She yes. Still every bone. Her, uh, her fur is still her winter coat. The Great Pyrenees grow an undercoat that's extremely thick and has to be brushed out. And she absolutely has the full fledge of that. So the heat on her, in to on top of, I'm going to go with her room positive probably, worms and just malnourished is is a pretty risky spot for this dog so we're gonna make a call to uh, our vet's office get her scheduled to go in there and really just get the ball rolling with all of this because time is of the essence in cleveland now i would say we're probably 30 minutes from you is that okay hey stormy can, on bertha can you put it in all caps big bertha oh. Big Bertha. I'm kidding, Stormy. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Stormy. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll continue to be ready. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Big Bertha. Sweetie, sorry. You don't like that name? She's, Sweetie. She's like, big, I don't know if I signed up for this on a Friday. Sweetie, Big Bertha's cute because you're a big girl. <laughs> she is a big girl. She is big. She's bigger than Millie. And we're about to get her an ice cream. Uh, not ice cream. What they say, whipped cream? Yeah. Bertha, you don't know what has just happened in your life, baby. It just got way, way better. Here's my thing. Every dog we've brought here has enjoyed the, the wacky cup. Uh, I don't think she wants any of that on here. No. <laughs> she didn't get my humor. No. Name. She's like, just Sweetie. get out of the drive-thru. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Thank oh. you. That's what she really Sweetie. would prefer to have. I'm all through. Thank you, ma'am. Sweetie. She's like, I don't trust you for Yeah, nothing. she was like, listen, uh, I'm in a very Sweetie. unsecure environment right now, and I'm freaking out. Sweetie, it's just whipped cream. And oh my uh, gosh, the amount of fluid on my car. <laughs> what happened? She's drooling? <laughs> Is she drooling? She's she's stressed right now. Oh. Remember how Millie and Fiona have a drool thing? Yeah. Apparently, it's part of the Great Pyrene Great Pyrenees side of their gene code. She's not gonna lick that. No, cream she's too cup. stressed to eat. Poor uh, baby. Let's put the top back on. It's up. gonna be okay, my you love. Try that, baby? No, she don't. She's okay. It's all right, baby. We're gonna go see Doctor Priestley. She's like, I don't know about this doctor business. I promise it's gonna be okay, love. It's gonna be okay. Finally. Are you ready, baby? Mama's dirty car? You ready to get out of there? All right, Dad, help us out. There's nothing. 
Welcome to Ama Survivor. Hello, my sweet girl. Oh, boy. She's like, oh, this is an AC. Oh, no, look. Yeah. Sweetie. Chia, we baby. don't need your help, baby. Sweetie, come on. I'll carry you one last time. Oh, She's no. shaking. I gotta carry you one. She goes, I smell animals. But come on, Miss good. Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Come on, Nelly. You can eat over here, baby. We got good food over here. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Come here, sweetie. Ready, love? She's like, I'll just stay in the car. I'll live Ready here. Ready over here, sweetie? Miss Nelly. A lot of animals are here. So we're going to love you. You smell good stuff? Yes, ma'am. I've got some good food set out for you. <gasps> Mama does have good food. Come on, baby. Okay, come, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come with come us. On, girl. Come on. All right, I'm going to grab her now. Whoopsie doopsie. I got her. All right. Come on, Mama. Oh boy, we gotta take that leash off of her dad. Oh wait, she's heavy. Let's check it all out. Oh, that's good food, huh, baby? This stall has been the very first home to so many animals on this sanctuary. This has been our nursery, our quarantine spot. It's been our horse stall, our donkey stall. It's held kittens, it's held puppies, it's held goats, it's held pigs, it's held chickens and geese and ducks, dogs. It's a, uh, it's a pinnacle stall, if you will. A pillar and a foundation for so many animals. And I love that uh, Miss Nellie is starting out here too. I'm glad that we took her straight to the vet, got everything that we needed to know. One more night with all those fleas and ticks on her would have been awful. And I'm super happy that that's, uh, that's going to be resolved real soon. I want her to get cozy with the smells. I want her to learn the noises from inside the stall where she's safe and then we will graduate once we get past the quarantine stuff she's got a few meds and things and i'll let lester tell you more about that in his video about how the vet visit actually went but for now yeah look at her smelling checking it all out hi miss nelly hi baby there's a good breeze blowing blowing through here today and she's got food, she's got two different sources of water. I may even bring her a little pool in here and get that filled up so that way she can cool off if she wants to as well. Hi, baby. Look at, I feel like she looks so much happier right now. Are you happy? Cause you seem to be happy. I'm here to tell you that I've only spent a few hours with her and I am madly, crazily in love with her. She has the same demeanor, the same demeanor as Fiona does. Mature, wise, calm, and I, uh, I am falling for her, which is not what I'm supposed to do. Regardless though, I'm so happy that you're here, baby. She's just going to get a little bit nervous here and check out all of the, the smells. And for now, she's okay. Looky here, baby. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hi, sweet girl. You're coming to see me. Thank you. I was wondering when you are going to pay some attention to me. Are you so happy? Good. Get you a drink, baby. Get you a drink. You lost a lot of fluid on the car ride. I saw it happen all over the windows. <laughs> I think it's the saddest thing what she's done with her food. She covers it so no one else can find it. Look, this is her food bowl. And she has covered it up so no one else can find it. What does that tell you? It's sad. She has been... 
she knows how to hide her food from other people. Sweetie, it's so sad. We got her backside pretty trimmed up. She so looks I feel, great. I feel like we're making progress. She's like, okay, yeah, cool. We did this whole stall thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to graduate to a pasture now. Little time, baby, little time. It's nice and cool in here. If yeah, anyone's wondering, there's an amazing breeze that blows through here. It's no sun. So even though she's panting, you know, she has Nervous. water. And we gave her a big old pool to float around in and lay in if she wants to. She prefers to drink out of the pool, I'm not shocked. Yeah. But and she's such a pretty girl. Beautiful. And, uh, so sweet. So, so, so sweet. everyone needs to know that... Uh, she has, uh, she, well, her blood work shows that she has no infectious diseases. That's the number one thing. And then she also, we also gave her the Parvo vaccine, rabies. And uh, what she'll do is spend a couple of days here in quarantine for uh, just in case. And uh, really give her time to acclimate. Yeah. Smell. Mm -hmm. She'll have time to acclimate to the sounds, the smells of all the different, you know, things around here. She'll learn that this is home. This is where she eats. This is where she drinks. And then at some like point, like Ellie and Megan can open up the stall and she can make, you know, she'll have free reign to run around and uh, they might just keep feeding her in here and she'll always know this is her, her safe place. But uh, knowing her, the kind of dog breed that she is, she'll spend more time out with the animals because she just will want to, the same way Millie does and Fiona. They'll have like an obligation, some kind of a DNA code to protect babies at all costs. She's a special girl. Yeah, and uh, and I will say this, this is important because just like any other dog, if we bring a dog, a rescue in, and it doesn't work out here for whatever reason, then Jamie and I will be more than happy to take it to Longhorn Lester's. And we ain't gonna, we won't have any regrets with that, will we? No. We love her. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl. All right.